Hi guys, in this video series we will focus on short topics and tutorials to improve your flight skills and knowledge from the ground up. In this video we will look at two types of airspeed indicators and the symbology and colors found on them that you may not be aware of. The ASI or airspeed indicator has a standard color coded set of markers to indicate the safe operation of the aircraft it is installed in. At a glance, you can see either the recommended speed or V-speed for a particular operation, or if you are within the recommended safety range or V-speeds of a particular operation. This is especially nice when getting into a new aircraft that you may be unfamiliar with. Operating within these ranges is something you should always be paying attention to. The green arc indicates the range of normal operations of this aircraft or its V-speeds VS1 to VNO. VS1 being the stall speed of the aircraft in the clean gear and flaps up configuration in most cases. And VNO being the maximum structural cruising speed which is also the beginning of the yellow arc. Technically at this speed the aircraft should be able to handle a 50-foot per second gust of wind according to the FAA and its certification. It's important to note you have no way of measuring wind gusts. The easiest way that I remember what VNO stands for is remembering VNO as no go in this area. Generally during normal flight with your aircraft in a clean configuration meaning no flaps or gear this is the safe range of operation for your aircraft before you will add stress or stall. The white art indicates the safe range in which you can operate the flaps or your VSO to VFE speeds. VSO is the stall speed of the aircraft while in landing configuration, example engine idle, full flaps, prop slow pitch, etc. at the lower part of the white arc. This can also be indicative of the minimum steady flight speed if the aircraft is considered too difficult to control under the speed, under the speed even if it doesn't stall. You can remember VSO by remembering V, which always stands for velocity, and SO for stuff out, as in the gears and flaps are all out. The maxima side of that white flaps arc is VFE being the maxima speed in which you could fly with flaps extended. Note that some aircraft will allow approach flaps beyond this range, which would be your first level of flaps. You will also see this yellow arc, which is warning you that although this aircraft can operate safely in this range, you should only do so under ideal conditions. Don't try to push the aircraft through a turbulent storm in this range as the extra gust forces on the plane may push the aircraft past its limit. This range in the yellow arc starts at VNO, where the green ended, and ends at VNE. If you remember, VNO is no-go unless under smooth conditions, like we just mentioned, and VNE is velocity never exceed. You should therefore never exceed the speed under any circumstances. Multi-engine aircraft have two additional markings of red and blue. The red line is your VMC, which is the minimum airspeed you should be operating the aircraft if one engine were to fail and you were only flying on one engine. VMC for velocity, minimum control. The blue radial indicates VYSE, which is the best rate of climb with only one engine. VY is usually your best rate of climb speed in any aircraft, while VYSE is best rate of climb with a single engine SE. Last, let's take a look at the altimeter tape for a Garmin 1000, located on the left here. And as we approach our rotate speed, see the white and green portion of the tape appearing. These again are your safe flaps and safe clean aircraft operating ranges. Keep in mind that V-speeds for aircraft are determined assuming the aircraft is at its maximum gross weight. So for instance, if you were flying very light, your aircraft will most likely stall at a lower speed than indicated on the ASI. And I'm getting very close to the five minute mark that I've given myself for these videos. So with that, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video.